sent from them the issues that they would want to raise or request the legislature how to intervene on their behalf with the provincial government because that is our role as the legislature to oversight the government. I think by now uh, the communities of the Eastern Cape understand that the legislature is their last resort uh, before they just give up on issues. So we have that onerous responsibility to ensure that we create platforms um, to listen to communities, to engage them, but also to ensure that we bring the provincial government here to come and account to people. And I must say with the processes thus far, the three reports, that is of COCTA, of um, economic development, environment and tourism, as well as with health, uh, the MECs have really responded factually to those issues. They uh, were also unequivocal in stating where they are having challenges with respect to financial uh, shortcomings, the austerity measures, the top slicing, uh, but still making commitment that in future years that they will attend to certain of those issues. We've also had uh, requested other MECs who are not part of the reports. They have also come to the fore to respond. We know the issues of water, with the issues of roads, the issues of um, the transport network system, as well as uh, opportunities for young people, a community hall, stadiums that is, um, uh, you know, vandalized, all of these kind of things that have been raised. Uh, and the MECs have responded to those issues. So we are happy with the, with the responses, but I think after this process, and this is also very, very important, that we should not leave these issues for longer to get the reports that will then be formally tabled in the House to be uh, taken up by the MECs and to ensure that a workable program of action is put in place, working with the local municipalities to ensure that they attend to these issues. A lot of the issues that have been raised is quite peculiar to local government. Uh, some of the issues uh, do not belong uh, at the provincial level, but we can't come to municipalities and say, no, we can't respond on these issues, we can't take care, care of this. We are one people, just see one government, and as the legislature, we have that responsibility to ensure also that the municipalities come to the fore in dealing with the issues um, here in their municipalities. We know this area has always been a, a, a drought area. The water has always been very scarce in this area. We actually pray for snow in Jolkabi because when it snows during the July, the, uh, the actually the June, July, August month, then we know there will be good harvesting come December when uh, actually those snow 